Why are cops always shooting dogs? Don't believe me? Nearly 100 cases of local police shooting dogs within the past two years. But surely these were all misfires. Police can't just go around shooting dogs indiscriminately. A family dog killed when officers are responding to a scene. And what we found out about officer training, well, it may surprise you. Spoiler alert, there isn't any. Carrie left their little 45 pound dog outside alone for a moment. Marshals then came to their address with a civil lawsuit for someone who hadn't lived there in eight years. Then Carrie Culifer heard gunshots. And I came out to, you know, see my dog in a pool of blood under the truck. If it's just a lowly civilian dog, cops can kill with impunity in the name of their safety. And for all those insecure cops who join the force because they hope it will make their cocks longer, killing your dog might just be a symptom of a deeper-seated insecurity. People like that are easily frightened, don't you know? But kill a police dog and you've killed an officer. The Louisa County Sheriff's Department has never lost an officer in the line of duty. Tonight, the loss is great, and it's of an officer that everyone loved. She loved to work, and that's what she was here for. Some police dogs are actually trained to bark in affirmation of their oaths, because that's so meaningful. Cops who actually are required to take an oath to the Constitution never follow it anyway. So these police love their dogs. It's not a cops hate dogs thing. So then what is it? Do cops just hate other people's dogs? It's a story we've heard over and over from pet owners whose dogs have been shot and killed by police. Yes, but why? I had to watch him bleed to death. He gasped for air. The officer in this case said he felt threatened by the dog and was cleared by the department of any wrongdoing. In fact, in every case we found in multiple departments, the officer was cleared. Aha! What's the common thread? In every single case of cops shooting dogs, no matter what the department, the officer was completely exonerated of any wrongdoing. So let's get this straight. If you kill one of their dogs, you've just become a felon. If police kill one of your dogs, well, screw you. No recourse, no apologies, no reconciliation, recompense, or even a hallmark card from the officer. There was no accountability in this situation with us. You know, it was just kind of like, well, he felt threatened, he shot your dog, that's it. But the officer felt threatened for his life. Sure, there were only 34 deaths in the U.S. last year as a result of dog bites, but you can't put a price on officer safety. Most of the cops who shot dogs were reported on, but many fell through the cracks. Just this week, a Memphis police officer's identity was protected by the department after he aimed for a family dog during a home raid and he accidentally shot his fellow police officer in the back. And you know what? The cop who shot his fellow officer deserves a hell of a lot more than administrative leave. I mean, paid vacation. But don't hold your breath for an attempted murder charge. Your dog isn't a person. It's just an inconvenient piece of property in the way of a cop doing his job that can be disposed of. Since cops don't give a shit about your property rights anyway, I'm sorry, but when you're four times more likely to be killed by a cop supposedly acting in the interest of public safety than a dog, I have no sympathy for these assholes. You felt threatened because you kicked down a door with your gun drawn and were surprised to find a dog, so you shot it? This would be like me shooting a cop every time I saw one because I felt threatened. And you know what? I feel at least a thousand times more threatened by the average cop than the average dog. No dog ever tased me. No dog ever pepper sprayed me. No dog ever locked me in a cage for smoking a plant. No dog ever shot me. You limp dick insecure motherfuckers who think you can just go around fucking with people and dogs, because they can't fight back, got another thing coming. If there was a hell, there'd be a special place for cops who shoot dogs, because I felt threatened. We know what you're really threatened by. People knowing that you only joined the force to stroke your egos and your little limp dicks. The obvious stuff that is making people go, what the fuck is happening here? As libertarians about the sanctity of the individual. This is disorderly conduct. 